Hello my loves. Thank you guys so much for being here today. I'm going to be doing a psychic reading on Zayn Malik and Gigi Hadid. You guys probably have already heard that she's pregnant. She's announced she's pregnant. It's confirmed. Um, so I figured let's just do a read on them. Um, full disclaimer, I did not know these two people were dating. I did not know they ever dated. Like um, I did a reading on Zayn Malik a while ago. And I think that I mentioned that there is a woman that was kind of back and forth, but they, they were going to end up being together for a long time. Like, she was a long-time girlfriend type of thing. Um, I mentioned that. I didn't know who it was. Spirit wasn't telling me. And plus, I had no prior knowledge that Gigi and him um, were together. So that's why I never addressed that as Gigi. But we're going to see if she is this girl that I have told you guys about in my previous reading. Um, and I did, I feel like I did mention that he was going to trap her in some way. Um, she would always keep going back or whatever. I forgot what I said, guys. You guys let me know because you guys hold me down with that. So comment down below if you watched that video and you remember what I said. <laughs> okay, so... I actually, hmm, the, the way they were painting this picture of the woman that uh, just basically stood by Zane and took all, all of his crap or whatever, I just don't really feel like it's her. She has a very goddess-esque energy. There are, there's an Egyptian goddess working with her. I'm hearing that Isis is working with her as well. Um, this is the photo I'm using, um, and I usually show you guys these pictures just in case you guys are psychics too. I have a lot of psychics on my channel. So I just want you guys to know what I'm picking up. Um, also, see if we're picking up on the same things. But that's usually the reason why I show you the pictures that I'm using. Um, so I definitely see that Isis is one of her guides. I am seeing that she has gypsy roots. So she has tribal markings, um, gypsy tribal markings on her. Um, and I'm... Okay. Uh, I see she has had past lives in Egypt. She may, I know she's Palestinian, but I'm seeing more so roots from Egypt here um, and gypsy roots. She is also a witch. Um, I'm not sure if you guys knew this. A lot of people in Hollywood are into witchcraft or they have had past lives as witches. Um, in my opinion, I think that is is because if you come from a bloodline that is magical or you you're, were a high priestess or something along those lines in a past life, things are going to manifest for you very, very quickly. So if you want fame, if you want fortune, you can literally just think these things out and they will come to you. If you actually went forward with doing a spell and you have this magical background from the get, you're going to manifest things very quickly. Um, I could speak for it like myself from other psychics that I've spoken to from mentors. Um, it just works better, I guess. Um, if, if you have past lives of, of experience with magic, with the arts, anything like that, things just manifest for you. However, this can be counteracted in a negative way because if you have had past lives where you have done things that are negative, like black arts, dark, dark arts, whatever you want to call it, um, you might manifest more negative things in your life. That could all be cleared, of course. Like no, Nobody is like cursed. I don't really feel like anybody is cursed for life. These things can be taken off with Reiki, with, you know, I feel like Reiki is the best way. I don't want to give you guys like generic answers. Like I never do that. So I feel like intense Reiki is honestly the best way. Um, if you guys have any other ideas, I, I, I've never done hypnotherapy, but I hear it works. Personally, I just want to give you guys the advice that has worked for me. And I don't want to give you like a generic advice like therapy. Therapies never work for me. So I'm always going to just tell you guys what has worked for me in the past. Um, and Reiki has um, ancestral constellations. It's hard to find somebody that does that, though. Um, these are the things that do work. Meditation works. Candles work. Um, so, yeah, in my experience, those are, you know, the fastest ways and the most um, intense ways to, to really um, clear karma, heal yourself, move out of situations with that you're stagnant. Um, but honestly, if you do want to get rid of negative energy that you feel has been on you from past lives or from your your generations before you, um, I would recommend Reiki. That's just what I do. It's worked for me. And you have to find a Reiki master 
who's actually very good because people that do Reiki, sometimes it's more energy work. They're not really geared towards anything else. If you find a psychic medium who does Reiki and they're they're kind of more experienced, they've been doing this for a while, um, definitely would go, I would go with that. Uh, I would ask them if they're familiar with things called cord cutting, if they're familiar with um, karma clearing, if they're familiar with taking entities off people, things like that you, you would want to ask. Um, these are, this, this kind of will show you the line between who's going to just work on your energy and your chakras and who's really going to work on your whole spirit, whole soul, and create really major transformations. Um, not, nothing against people that do Reiki for energy and stuff and like, um, no offense, but like if you are really going into intense work or you're psychic or you're a medium, Things you want to ask for is, have you ever worked with a psychic meeting before? Just questions that I always ask people before I start working with them. Um, always get an intuitive feeling about this person. Is this person psychic? Do you think that they're connected to their abilities? Do you think this person can really do intense work on you? Just questions to ask yourself before you make an agreement and start working with a healer because you want to get what you need. You don't want to get something that... Um, you know, it's so expensive and you're not really going to like, you're going to need more basically is what I'm trying to say. Okay. So I feel like, as I was saying in my last video, he's kind of like a man child, um, Zane. And I, I hope you guys don't hate me for saying that, but he is very much lost. He's not in his power. He's in a kind of a dark place. Um, he does have Jin energy around him. This is dark energy. He, I'm hearing he's not self-aware right now. So there's a lot of things that he puts past him that he does, he's a little oblivious to. He doesn't give much thought into. I feel like he's had his fair share of women. Like, he knows that there's certain women that will take his stuff. But like I said, he's kind of like a man-child. He needs to be, like, you know, raised, basically, um... And this is nothing against his parenting, like his family or anything like that. Um, this is just what I'm seeing from spirit. There's emo an emotional disconnect with him. Um, okay. Like I said, I, I still feel he's trapped in this place. Something happened. He may have some type of reoccurring dream where he feels very stuck. I feel like he might have gotten very stuck as an astral being before he reincarnated into this earth. Um, and this darkness, he's still stuck in that place. Um, with Gigi, like I said, I do see... I Oof. Bitch. Isis is very, very, very much working with her. Oh my god, my whole body just got like hot like from here to here. So, I, I'm hearing, oh, this, okay. I'm hearing another goddess of fertility. Um, yeah. So, I feel like Gigi did have a past life as a witch. Um, she probably is a reincarnated goddess, people would call her, a reincarnated deity, somebody on, a, on another level. Um, I feel like she may have actually practiced dark arts in a past life from what I, I'm getting from her energy and what I'm seeing with the, the goddesses that she is working with. It's not all love and light with her. I don't feel like she's a bad person. She's very chill. I'm getting like um, Sagittarius vibes. I don't know if she is a Sagittarius or Leo. Um, she or possibly Cancer. I'm, I'm hearing a big loving heart. Um, Do I feel this connection is, for some reason, I feel like Zane is very draining, but I don't feel like he's very draining on her. I feel like she has a spiritual backbone, so to say, where she can kind of um, pull in his energy and like transmute it and not be drained by it, which is very weird. I am seeing that these two did have a past life together where he was kind of like a king or something or a prince, some type of Arabian prince. I told you guys I was getting Aladdin vibes last time I did this reading. Um... I'm seeing some type of Arabian prince. I, I feel like, I'm not sure if I said this in his in my last reading on him, but he did come in contact with a genie. I am seeing that. Um, 
if you guys don't think genies are real, sorry, but they are. Um, they're very rare, but whatever. We're not getting into it. But, um, yeah, the, whatever this genie did, and this is another reason why he feels kind of trapped. So, like I said with her, she's working with such high vibrational entities here. Um, not... I don't know if high vibrational is the top, but she's working with like very mystical, very spiritual beings, high level, ascended spiritual beings here. Whereas his energy, even though it's dark and it's daunting and he's made some mistakes, it's not draining her. So the person that I think I saw before, I'm not, a, I don't really feel like that energy is Gigi's. I feel like Gigi is very much in her power. She can handle it all. She could take his energy and transmute it and it's no problem. She doesn't really get as drained from it. Um, so I feel like this was this would be a, this is a soulmate connection. And I feel like this is a very healthy connection um, for him. Possibly later on in life, I do feel like this may be kind of draining for Gigi. Um, I feel like the child is going to be a girl, but I'm not sure if they have announced that yet. But I am seeing a little girl in a dress. And she is going to be very pale. She's going to have her mother's eyes, I feel like. There's going to be this beauty about her that just like resembles Gigi so much. Um, I feel like he is going to kind of be trapped, even though he has a daughter and it may take the pain away, but there, he, there's some work that needs to be done with him. And I, I also feel like Gigi is going to kind of have to leave the household because she's going to kind of start to pick up that, you know, I mean, I feel like she probably already knows that he's not all in his power and he's not all that well right now. But I do feel like she's going to have to pick up the pace for a lot of the things that he's not doing. I do feel like he's going to get lazy and he's not going to want to do certain things. And there may be time where he's just on the couch all day. So I feel like Gigi is going to have to pick up the pace for a lot of that. But yeah, um, thank you guys so much for being here. If you guys are interested in your own reading, I leave everything down below. Please email me. I am not sure when I'm going to start taking on new clients. Um, hopefully soon. Definitely before August. Uh, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.